What's going on guys? Tom Davis here, America's Canine Educator. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, you guys. We have a very interesting case. This case from start to finish, I learned so much for, from, and I've watched this episode three or four times before I uploaded it to you guys. Just, just step by step, just leash reactivity. Why is this dog, it's like one of the most reactive dogs I've ever seen on a leash. Very interesting. Uh, anyway, we go over the entire process. So what is leash reactivity? How it's created? Why does it look like aggression? Why does the dog look like he wants to kill me or he or she wants to kill me? So we're gonna be dissecting and going over all of that in this episode. If you guys haven't yet, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel. We're dropping behavioral videos like this every single week, at least twice a week. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, I'm just gonna stop talking. We're gonna get into this video. I love this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. And then just let her go and I wanna see what she does to Okay, and I'll just pull her back. Okay, so it could be just you guys too. Yeah. Could be a big problem with you guys. So what I want to do is, do you think we can get a muzzle on her without a freaking? Yeah. Mommy. No, 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 leave it, leave it. Come on, Mia. Good girl. No, no, no. Come on, Mia. Come on, Mia. Good girl. All right. What I want to do is, I want you guys to um, just hang out right, right out the window here. If I wave you in, that means she's got her muzzle off and then you come in and call her. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is a dog that we trained with uh, a while ago and she does have some reactivity issues, but uh, now it's gotten worse. They've been moving a couple of times. And so, as you can see, she's very explosive, but uh, di dissecting the behavior, it's clearly, so what I always try to do is if I get a dog that's reactive like this, I try to figure out exactly uh, what the triggers are as well as what the variables are and so obviously in the owner's hands super reactive to me uh, And then owners are gone. And she's like, okay now I don't care about you. So the point is guys is it doesn't have anything to do with me uh, It has to do with how she feels With her owners and so I'm gonna work her a little bit. We're gonna have the owners come in We're gonna figure this out. But good job sit. Yes. Good sit. Yeah, come Good girl, good job, baby. Right, so I, I feel pretty good. I'm gonna uh, just see how she does with me on her level. Mia, come, come. Good job, good job. All right, good. So I, I don't want, so I want you guys to just notice what I did. I didn't, I don't wanna go face to face with her like this, like me, you, and the camera. Uh, I always wanna go side with her with a dog that's iffy like this. I'm using the Herm Springer right now. It's giving me the most control. If I didn't have this collar on, it would be a lot harder for me to do what I'm doing. So. Uh, equipment right now, guys, is a size four Baskerville, as well as a Herm Springer 2.25 size safety clip and a four foot training leash. Come here. Good, so I'm gonna get down on her level again. Good, good job. Oh, what a difference, what a difference. So again, guys, watch what I'm doing, very neutral. Um, just kind of turning my uh, body to her I don't wanna square up with her at all and ca cause any kind of conflict. And I'm doing that because earlier she was very triggered really quickly. So if I'm here and her face is here, it could potentially cause conflict. Uh, I learned this with the wolves, working with the wolves is, whenever you get a wolf that's uh, at the sanctuary, very like in your face and kind of challenging and sometimes it happens out of nowhere and they've never done it before, it can gets kind of scary, but you're just kind of neutral and you're shutting down and you're being very no eye contact, no frontal body pressure, very just submissive almost. So that's what I was just doing. I'm gonna heal around a little bit more. So um, what, you guys are, what you guys are seeing is a, is a case of reactivity. So it, it looks aggressive. And as you guys know, if I, if I label something in my title as aggressive dog, I'm labeling it for you guys. Cause dog owners are um, the people who I wanna help. You guys are the people who, are, who need help desperately. So on the outside, it does externally look like aggression. And so that's why 
um, this title is aggressive dog because it looks aggressive and that's what many people would perceive this as. It's obviously not aggression. This dog does not have an actual problem with me physically or as a human being. Um, this dog is reactive. So reactive means we have one variable and another variable which creates a, a reaction. Mentos and Coca-Cola, reaction. Separately, they're Mentos and Coca-Cola. This dog with the owner creates a reaction. Why? I don't know yet. We're gonna keep figuring that out. Make sure you keep watching. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Hawk, my mouth was being a little baby. All right guys, so we're just gonna bring the owners in now and we're gonna, we're gonna work this out, get the kinks out. Here we go. Interesting, huh? I think the problem is us. Yep. I mean, you said it. <laughs> all right. But it's not so much you're the problem, your relationship is the problem. That's all. I'm going to give her back to you. Okay. And then I want you to just walk around again. Good. Okay, so now I want you to just hand the leash off to me. So we're going to, yep, so come back this way. Hand the leash off to me again. Good. Good. So no reaction. So I think what we're dealing with here, guys, is Relationship, obviously you set, you set her off wicked. Um, and again, it's nothing personal. Um, it's just how, whatever, she, whatever her perception of you mm -hmm. and your relationship with her is what creates her to be reactive. So anyway, happens all the time. A lot of dog owners struggle with this reaction and this reactivity. Mm -hmm. So what we have to do is we have to make your relationship better. But the other side of that is, is obedience. So when she, when he, when she comes in, she's you know pulling right through so as soon as you let a dog say i'm gonna do this doesn't matter if it's barking pulling jumping peeing on you whatever doesn't matter insert whatever and you don't effectively shut that down and say that's not appropriate behavior you're enabling just like with kids right they show up to a family event they just start peeing or something and you're like yeah whatever you know, they're gonna, they're gonna think that's okay, right? Same thing with a Sharpie on the wall. Yeah, so this is a good behavioral case because you can see she's not content with being away from you. Yeah. It's not that she doesn't like me because when you guys are gone, she's, you know, exactly. So right here, this tells us that she has a, she has an unhealthy relationship for you for whatever reason. So a dog shouldn't always be like, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Just like with people, right? right. If I came in here and I'm sitting here and I'm constantly like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. You guys are gonna be like, all right, you should just go. <laughs> so this is telling us something. So I'm gonna work on, so here, see, not good. So we're gonna work on obedience. You guys just ignore her as much as you can. So I'm gonna do a tune up, something I do every session with all the dogs, you guys probably know. Heel back and forth, getting her attention, making sure she's complying to my verbal, using the uh, Herm Springer as an enforcer. Um, and this is the first thing we're gonna do before we get into any other thing. So she's up here with you guys as a balloon. Slowly but surely, I'm gonna deflate that anxiety. Okay. And I'm gonna create a better relationship so she doesn't feel like she has to go with you. So in the next five minutes, I'm gonna use this tool to say, no, 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 no. And she's gonna go. And then maybe she'll lay down and take a nap. All right, I'm just gonna take the muzzle off. I think she's gonna be okay. Yeah. Mia, come. Come, yes, good girl. Mia, come. Good job. Yo. Thank you, Taylor. Mia, sit. Good sit. What a good sit. girl. You remember Zach? Mia's a good girl. Mia's a good girl. This is great. And I and I and I love learning from this too. It's like this is a just an interesting case. She loved us. She came in. She wanted to just go crazy on the leash and now she's back. So it's like, okay, what the heck happened? So now what I want to see is study her behavior over the next two minutes. She goes to you. I'm going to recall her off. I'm going to give her everything she wants. And I'm assuming, judging by her behavior currently, she's going to be stressed, of course, because she's overly stimulated. It doesn't matter what spectrum it's on. So she's happy, scared, mad, sad, or anxious. We're going to let her go. And I want to see what, what she does on her own. Okay? Mia, break. Break. What a good girl. What a good girl. So her anxiety is decreased significantly, right? She doesn't feel that. Okay, so why is this happening? Um, from what I see, it's probably just lack of control on the leash. So I wanna start there. So I want you guys to handle. There's, there's no reason why we can't handle her. Heel. 
just like this with you guys. When you're handling her, everyone does this. So don't be in fix it mode. Okay. You're in fix it mode right now. You're constantly, you can tell your attention is, is she doing it? Is she doing it? Am I doing it? She picks up on that. Okay. So she knows you're in that trial state of mind in that trial atmosphere. You wanna be confident. If it's, you know, just act like this is what you do. So what I would recommend, shoulders straight, eyes and head forward and just walk and she's with you. Okay. And what you wanna do is uh, think about it kind of like fishing. Don't touch the line, the leash, unless you feel a tug back. Okay. So if she starts to get out of her heel, pop, 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 set the hook if you will, right? Tell her no, 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 right? But you keep moving your momentum because what you're doing in here is practice. You're working on what you need to do, but at the same time, it's gonna be an unnatural, unrealistic, sustainable heel out there, right? Cause you're not gonna do that. This is what you're gonna do if you did that. Boom. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you guys haven't yet, do not forget to like this video, smash that subscribe button. I will be putting out videos like this every single day and my hands are covered with dog hair. If you guys haven't yet, do not forget to cop yourself some new No Bad Dog swag, you guys. It is so comfortable, I absolutely love it. And I love seeing you guys tag me on Instagram and you guys are repping this hard. I appreciate every single one of you for watching. I will talk to you next time, peace.